Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today we are talking about how to quickly make your glass colorful with just one click inside of Redshift. It can yield photorealistic results or a more stylized look depending upon how you use it. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. Okay, so how to quickly add color to your glass with inside Redshift. So this is something that's super easy to do and it's really intuitive, so I don't want to dwell on it too much. I just want to jump right in. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and create a new material. And let's apply it to our model. All right, so when we apply it to our model, um, oh, I'm in clay mode. Let me switch from clay mode. And uh, so we have our standard default material. And then let's step into that material and let's go to our preset and let's set it to glass. And I just wanna go straight up default uh, for the glass. And you're gonna see instantly that we have our glass material here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a render region so you can see uh, a little AB comparison. All right, so we got our glass material. And inside that glass material, let's go ahead and what we want is under refraction. So um, the option we want is called dispersion. Now dispersion basically is kind of what it sounds like. It is It disperses the light rays as they come through the index of refraction. So you can kind of think of it as a prism, right? So like it breaks up the RGB, RGB values um, so they're more yeah separated. It's kind of like a chromatic aberration or something like that. Um, and again, I'm, I'm not a scientist, but uh, what I do know is that um, results between 20 and 70 will tend to produce more real life results and uh, results that are lower are gonna be a little bit less realistic. So let's go ahead and set it to 20 and see what happens. So let's watch right here. Right away, even with this low res preview, you can see that I'm getting these color highlights in here that are happening. Let me go ahead and do maybe a, even a higher um, bucket render here. Yeah, cool. So we're getting a little bit of color, and honestly that little bit of color is probably what's actually more accurate. But what would happen if we even drop this lower? Like, Let's drop this to 10. All right, so when we drop it to 10, you're gonna see that we're gonna start getting even more and more color that's added in there. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go extreme here, and let's go to one. So now you're really starting to see kind of the effects of it because what we're doing is basically we're splitting that prism even more. We're dispersing it more and more and more. Um, and if you want to go crazy, you can do like point one, and you're gonna see that it gets really really colorful um, as as you move along. And of course, you know, it's, it's glass, so it depends on what angle you're at and all that stuff will determine, you know, how everything looks. Um, another thing that will determine how it looks is your IOR, right? Because this is where all the light's coming through. So if we, if we adjust this up or down, that's also going to affect the look. So I, if we come over here and I move it up, let's see how it changes. So, yeah, it's just a different look based on your... Um, based on your settings. So if I, uh, yeah, I mean, you get like crazy results with this, right? It's like red now. So you can get um, much different results just by kind of playing. I mean, like, look, I I personally, I only care so much about technical stuff, but sometimes you have to know, but this is one of those times like you don't really need to know too much technical stuff. Just kind of come in here and play with it till you get a look that you like. Assuming you're not going for photorealism, then yeah, of course you want to do your, you want to actually figure out what the IOR is, et cetera, et cetera. But for me, I think uh, I just kind of look at what looks cool and what looks nice to my eye and uh, go from there. But that is your choice to make. Uh, in any case, I hope that you have enjoyed this and I will see you on the next one.